the segment where we review movies from the year 2000 to 2012 and beyond. This week we watched Quarantine 2 colon Terminal. When a virus that turns its victims into crazed killers infects travelers on an airplane, a flight attendant and a passenger plan a daring escape. Many passengers, to be fair. Pretty much all the passengers. Um, but apparently only one of them matters. So this is... The sequel to a movie that was based off of a Spanish movie called Record, or Rec, uh, in brackets. Um, the first movie was kind of a, it was found footage in a way. Uh, you, were, you had like a cameraman from a news station. There, there was a reporter and they were telling the story about an outbreak in an apartment building uh, that gets quarantined exactly like in this movie. The two movies are related. Uh, the same uh, disease is there that is on the airplane. Um, so you, you have say like, it's a sequel. It is a sequel. A direct sequel, not like a... Yeah, it, it is a direct sequel um, done in a more normal film style, uh, mm-hmm. so you don't you don't have the found footage angle, which and I... And you also don't have Jennifer Carpenter, who's from Dexter. Thank God. I much, much prefer the lady uh, whose name is uh, not something I remember, and when I looked it up, it was not something I could easily pronounce. No, but she's uh, actually, she's got a new uh, TV show that she's on Fox. Uh, it's called The Finder. It's a spinoff of Bones. Nice. Uh, she plays a, a, one of the main characters on that show. Solid. So you, people Check probably know who the main actress is at this point. What do we like about this movie? As a fan of um, the first movie, uh, you, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it was enjoyable enough. I like Outbreak movies, and I liked um, that they they did a really good job of tying the two together. And I would actually kind of like to see this be a continuing series of... Because at the at the end it is open to a sequel at that point in Las Vegas. Yeah, so it would be it would, <laughs> right? <laughs> like how cool would that be? That would be pretty cool. Zombies and casinos cannot get enough of in that. The middle of the freaking desert. Um. Oh, that's the other thing I like is that uh, th- these are more these aren't zombies. It is a virus that is uh, gets out and it is much closer to the twenty eight day later infected where uh, they're they're kind of filled with rage and they want they they don't necessarily want to feed they just want to infect. Like, uh, the virus just want, it wants to replicate in other bodies, so they, they chase people down very quickly. They scream a lot. They grunt. Uh, they're not capable of human speech anymore, but uh, they got, they've got that quick zombie type thing going on, and I enjoy that. quick zombie thing? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, they're not zombies, but... Uh, and for, you mean that quick zombie thing where they speed up the film? For zombie purists, um, they don't believe in the quick zombie, but it obviously exists. We've seen it in movies, so obviously. And th- this kind of just continues that type of thing without strictly being a zombie. So, Johnny, did you like anything about this movie? This, uh, I think this might have been my least favorite movie for this week, which is probably shocking to you guys. I saw Toxic Sky, so it is quite shocking to me. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like a standard zombie movie to me, in, in, in a way. It's not like a, a very very interesting premise in my eyes. Do There's you, nothing I really hated either, yeah. to be honest with you. It seemed pretty... it, it just kind of middle of the road. So yeah. Do you do you have other likes? Because I I I have the likes tactics seem pretty common. Like trying to scare you out of your seat a mm. couple times. Um, the rest of the time they're trying to figure out you know how do you get infected, mm-hmm. um, and then it turns out you know that it's a little bit bigger conspiracy yeah. than it may seem at first, but. I don't know, it, it seemed to play out the way I thought it would, and it did what it set out to do, so... That's that's fair. Yeah, I think the movie's just fairly competent, mm-hmm. I guess. I don't... It wasn't great. It's fun enough, I think, for people who like this genre. I don't think it's anywhere near the uh, the quality of the first one. The, the the first one does much more interesting things, but I, I think it's mostly just because of the way the camera works. I don't think the first movie's uh, plot or anything are much more complex than this one's. It's just it's just done in such a an interesting like style, which I guess maybe it was interesting at the time, and now it's kind of it's been done in so in so many movies with the found footage. Well, and I think it just it it almost seems like somebody wrote a a zombie 
disease movie and it was sitting on the shelf and then they dusted it off and mm -hmm. they're like oh let's uh, make this quarantine too you know it didn't it didn't necessarily relate to the first one that much. It was tangential. Yeah. Um, let me let me ask you this. Would you like it more? Because I feel like in the first one, the apartment building itself was like I know it's annoying when people say it. You know, the, the location's almost a character, but like it was it was confined to this one apartment building. Yeah. Do you think if uh, like and that that, that I think made it much more cohesive. Uh, do you think if they would have just mostly stayed in like one location, like in the air, I couldn't believe they landed so quickly. Mm -hmm. Or I thought, if they just stayed on the plane. Yeah, I thought the plane was going to be the the central hub for the movie, and it didn't end up. They end up going to a terminal afterwards, and it's then called just all quarantine over the place. to terminal. I know, but at the same time, like, it, yeah, I I don't know. I I feel like if they would have just stuck to one thing or, the, or instead of the other. Uh, instead of branching off and trying to do both, it could have been a better movie. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it, you want something like this to be kind of tight, and it just feels kind of like it's very spread out. There's, mm -hmm. so, there's so many places for them to go. It's, there's less tension that way. You want it to be a super claustrophobic, you can't get out kind of situation. So as far as, like, dislikes for me, um, I mean, it's, it's, a lot of it's really predictable. <clears throat> like, you have a, a dude uh, who had a stroke, so he can't move, but obviously he's going to be one of the people who gets bitten, and obviously he's going to surprisingly get out of his seat and attack or whatever. So it seems like that, that were just a bit predictable. Um, the, thing, the thing that I don't like about the movie is the way that they did use the quick zombie. They're supposed to be kind of terrorizing. So whenever you see a zombie, they're just moving mm -hmm. in an incredibly fast, loud fashion. <laughs> yeah, and, and, the, and the noises that they make mm -hmm. are completely unrelated to the specific zombie. They're just, they just seem like very generic... Uh, zombie noise, just that, a, kind of a grunt, kind of a blood gurgle that are, in the throat. That are in no way human. It, you know what I mean? Kind, like, kind of like I can see that, but I don't. I don't see how like a vocal register could completely change if you. After you I get think it just disease. becomes really like guttural, like a, a real, like just kind of like primal noises. More I guess, than but they they don't anything. sound anything like the male zombies and the female zombies sound kinda, exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, kind of similar. Yeah. So like, there's just no. It's just these random generic. Zombie noise. Their Foley, their Foley guy was taking the day off. Is what I you're guess, saying. but like they just they were added on later, and it you almost want your you want your actors to make the noises, don't mm -hmm. you, to a certain extent? But it just doesn't seem like they do. Yeah, that. like all that was done offset, and that um, that really annoyed me. Yeah, and I, I could say yeah, and that kind of takes you out of the, and, the and movie they, a little bit. And they do go overboard on the the quick zombie, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just running that people down. I think I, f I feel to like scare that... you. So like every now and then they'll take a shot of a, a really loud screaming zombie uh, running. I feel like that's uh, more frightening though than the the slow zombie like kind of plodding oh, towards you. Absolutely. Like especially with a very large gentleman. Like could you imagine someone that big just fucking just blood in his eyes just chasing you down? That's a it, frightening thing. I think it's effective, but I think they overdo it. Yeah. Um, I guess I'd wish that there would, and I think this is just common for the genre. I wish there's more. I just want more character development. Mm -hmm. I want to care about at least a few of the characters before they start getting killed off. Because if I don't, then I just don't give mm -hmm. a crap about the movie. And it well, seemed like there were some characters that they started to develop a little bit, but I just wanted a little bit more. But in this type of movie, like uh, it's I not know. they don't have a lot of time to talk to each other. So I, know. I, I it's a valid complaint. Well, and, and that just seemed so unusual. There was one moment, uh, this side conversation with the, the main stewardess or the main character, the main female, and the little boy, and she's telling the little boy about her dad taking her flying, and it was just such a, like... <laughs> yeah, just, you know, it didn't feel authentic. It, it was such a, like, oh, we need a quiet moment here. <laughs> it was just so dumb, and that I almost would have been better without that. Let's go ahead yeah. and rate this movie. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give us a two and a half out of five. Um, I think it's it's okay. I mean, if, if I imagine if you like the genre, you'll probably enjoy it. Yeah, fine. I don't. Um, it has some decent thrills. It doesn't have any characters to get behind. Um, I'm gonna give it a. I think I'm gonna give it a two. Okay, a quarantine two, mm -hmm. terminal. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna give it a three. Just it's it's super average. Uh, another good subtitle for the movie was at, at least it was short. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't stick around too long. It's it's over and done with. Just enough time. Um, it's good enough in every way.